So welcome back to another episode of Shelly's Game Kitchen. I'm Chef Shelly Meyer, where each episode I'm gonna bring some new game meat for you to learn how to cook and teach you some techniques to work with this very lean and healthy protein. So keep watching, I'm gonna bring the forest to your table. So the first thing we need to do is get our acorn squash in the oven. So I'm just kind of lining this with a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper. I'm going to put it on a sheet pan at 425 degrees for about 25 minutes. And let me get that pan out of the oven. I've already got it started. So you got a nice hot pan. And let's get those on there. That sizzle. And pop those in the oven. And now we're gonna season up our ground meat. So like I was saying before, I'm gonna use kind of non-traditional seasoning. So I've got my fish seasoning. Just put that on there. And then I've also got the salt-free seasoning. Maybe a little bit more of that. And then, because you notice how I kind of flattened this out, so you really wanna to be able to get all of your meat seasoned well, it kind of works easier if you flatten out your ground meat and then add your seasoning to the top with that. So now we're gonna get started cooking and browning and get some onions and mushrooms and rice in there as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is start uh, sauteing some of our aromatics. So we get that pan going there. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of grapeseed oil after that comes up to a temp. I've already got some cooked rice back here. That's what's going to add to the bulk of this dish when we stuff it into our acorn squash. I've got the acorn squash in the oven. And the other thing we're gonna do, this is kind of one of those secret little new things. So a lot of times when people do this, they do it with dried fruit. And I actually like to do with a little bit of fresh. And right now in the fall is a perfect time to get fresh cranberries. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of get those in a pan and get them on low and the little bit of brown sugar. It's almost like you're gonna make a, a cranberry sauce, but we're not going that far. So we got some brown sugar in there. And I've zested an orange, plus I have the juice of the orange. And that's what we're gonna use as our liquid to kinda just soften those cranberries and get them to, to open up and bloom a little bit. And then we'll finish it with some orange zest. But I also have a little bit of orange liqueur. So as this starts to boil and gets a little bit closer to uh, coming up to temp, I'll add that orange liqueur in there as well because we want to cook out all of that. But it'll absorb into those cranberries and add another little element. So while that's working, looks like our pan is warm enough. So let's get some oil in there. And remember, I already seasoned that ground meat. So let's just kind of get that in there. Yes. That's what we're looking for. Wonderful sound. Let me clean up my hand a little. I'm just gonna break this up so we get it kind of crumbled and brown on all of those. And the seasonings are already in there. I'm getting nice and wonderful flavors. But it looks like I wanna add just a little bit more. I kind of eyeball my seasonings because I'm looking at coating kind of all of the, the meat. And so, you know, a recipe might call for a tablespoon or whatnot. You might need a little bit more, you might need a little bit less. It just kind of depends on the meat. So this is elk burger, which very lean, so you don't have, and this is 100% pure. A lot of times when people um, do their own harvesting and their own butchery, they'll cut it with like beef or they'll cut it with pork or something like that to add some fat into it. We don't do that. My husband is the hunter and we process all of our own meat. And so we really like to have pure, so it's very, very lean, elk burger. 
there's a lot of animal on an elk, so you get an awful lot of burger. So it's kind of nice to have something different. I kind of started my whole venture with cooking game because my husband would just cook steak every night. And I'm like, come on, can we have something more creative? So I kind of took over and that's what we've got coming on is you know, a lot of different things that you can do that are simple but approachable with game. So as that starts to get just a little bit more brown, I'm gonna actually add some red onion into that and let that sweat. I don't wanna get, I'm not trying to get color, I'm just adding in flavor and aromatics. So got some red onion in there. And now just kind of break that up a little bit. This is starting to boil. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add just a pinch of my orange liqueur in there. Get that boiling away and reducing down. Now I'm gonna add some mushrooms to our meat mixture so I can kind of get those sweated down. And remember when I say every layer, gotta add a little bit of seasoning. So I'm just gonna do a little bit, a pinch of salt on those mushrooms and onions and maybe hit it with just a little crack, fresh cracked pepper. My favorite, I love fresh cracked pepper. We're just gonna let these things cook for a little bit and when they're done, we'll put it all together and stuff the acorn squash. So now that our cranberries have reduced down, there's still a little bit of liquid there. What I'm gonna actually do is pour that right into my ground elk meat. And I'm gonna have that, the rest of that liquid kind of absorb into the meat and reduce it off and with the meat actually there because it's gonna absorb a lot of those flavors. Now this is where, remember me telling you there was gonna be a little surprise ingredient and spice that takes us from here to here? Now's where that comes in. And it's cinnamon. So Moroccan flavors, it's got a little bit of cinnamon and, and so forth, warm, I think warm spices. So I'm just gonna dust this with a little bit of cinnamon. So I've used my Montana flavor to savor seasonings with the fish seasoning and the salt free and now a little bit of cinnamon as we're just gonna, oh, oh, I wish you could smell that. Oh, that just smells like wonderful food on our way. Now also, I like a little bit of orange zest because it plays off of that, those cranberries. Pass those in there, maybe just a pinch more. And then, we're gonna toss our cooked rice in there. This would be a perfect recipe to use if you've got that day old rice in the fridge. This is perfect for that. I happen to cook this fresh today, but it's perfect for that used rice. That, you know, let's face it, everybody's got some day old rice in the fridge. So this is perfect with it. I toss that in there and I always cook, this is a secret, I always cook my rice in stock because it's adding another layer of flavor. So if you think about rice is absorbing the liquid around it, it's kind of like pasta or potatoes, you want the liquid to be flavored. So I actually cook my rice in stock today because that adds another layer of flavor. So try that next time you're cooking rice or pasta, and potatoes especially. If nothing else, make sure you salt or season your water because it just helps so much in this dish. So now we're gonna get our acorn squash out of the oven and then we're going to stuff it and then we're gonna pop it back in the oven again and then we'll get ready to plate. Montana flavor to savor. We've spent a decade creating the best flavors with all natural ingredients, gluten-free, with no fillers or no preservatives. You can find the best flavors at Montana Flavor to Savor. Visit our website at www.mtflavortosavor.com. With an explosion of flavor that tantalizes your taste buds, there's only one way to experience the last best taste of Montana, and that's with Montana Flavor to Savor seasonings. Get yours today. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just kind of finish off this elk burger with the cranberries and the rice. I'm gonna add just a little bit of chopped pistachios. I just love the different textures that the pistachios and the nuts will give this dish. And then also a little bit of that imami Worcestershire sauce. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of Parmesan cheese as well. Mix that all together. Yes, looking good already, but we got another step. So I'm gonna grab my baked acorn squash. So you can see how I baked it upside down. Now I'm gonna carefully, with a set of tongs, I'm going to lift those over. Beautiful. That look gorgeous. I can't wait. Oh, it smells so good too. So now we're gonna add some stuffing in here with that elk burger and cranberries, rice. And then we're just gonna put it back in the oven for like 10 minutes. We're just trying to kind of meld the flavors back together. But what you could do with this dish is you could get it to this stage before you stuff it, completely cool your acorn squash and completely cool your uh, meat mixture. And then once both items are cooled, you can then stuff it and put it in the fridge and be ready for like the next day, the day after that. It comes back together in the oven really, really well. So this is one of those that you could do ahead for another meal later in the week, or you're trying to prep for a party. This is actually because you're serving it in the vessel. It does really well for like a party dish. So you can kind of see how I've got that stuffed in there. I don't want to lose my cranberry. <laughs> that's one of those wonderful flavors. Okay, now I'm gonna put that back in the oven for like 10 minutes. It's still at 425, so it's not gonna take long. And then I'm gonna bring it back out and plate it. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Let's get that cranberry elk stuffed acorn squash out of the oven. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna plate this up and then I'm gonna top it. Because that's super hot, I'm gonna be very careful So all of the squash around there is completely cooked and it's melded with all of that wonderful cranberry elk seasoned with the Montana Flavor to Savor fish seasoning and salt-free seasoning and a little bit of cinnamon. Now we wanna kinda of bring a topping to that and make it pop a little bit more. So I've got some more of that crushed pistachios and I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Parmesan and some fresh chopped parsley. And I'm just gonna make a little topping with maybe just another pinch of orange zest. So we've added a little bit of that orange zest in there and just kind of blended that into a beautiful little topping, a little pop of fresh on top of this wonderful baked goodness. So look at that. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get my fork and dig in. So here we have cranberry elk with rice, pistachios, Parmesan stuffed into an acorn squash. I hope you enjoy. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Shelly's Game Kitchen. I used Montana flavor to savor spices today. I used the fish seasoning with the salt-free seasoning and I added a little bit of cinnamon as a special little kick. You can find my spices at www.mtflavortosaver.com. Also on social media, you can find me there or at Chef Shelly Meyer. Thank you so much. And what I did for you today was a cranberry elk stuffed acorn squash. 
Join me on my next episode as I continue to bring the forest to your table.